Welcome everyone. Hope all is good with all of you. Um, just gonna wait a few seconds until every, all the participants are going to enter the room. So let's wait a couple of seconds, hopefully. And then we can continue and start. Okay, somebody's writing hello everyone. Okay, that's nice. So I assume you can all hear me. That's nice. Um, and everything's working fine. Um, as this session is also a little bit about participating. So please feel free if it's possible for you to unmute yourself. Um, or if you have any comments or questions or something else, just put it into the chat. Um, because this is also a little bit about presentation presentation and about interaction as well. It's not only me talking the whole time. Um, it's great to see you as well participating a little bit. Um, so somebody is writing. Uh, please chat to all. Uh, yes, I can hear you and see you, but my connection is unstable. Um, okay, let's hope for the best. Uh, let's start, by the way. Should everybody, I think everybody should be in here now. Um, so whenever you have any questions, just feel free to put them into the chat or to unmute yourself. And um, as I said, this is also a little bit about interaction and uh, doing this together. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Happy to have you all here. My name is Toby. Um, I'm working for EF Education. So what we basically do just in the beginning to get this a little bit wrapped up, um, we are sending students and adults and people in general to other countries to learn a language um, because uh, we are convinced that it's way more easy to learn a language in the country where it's originally spoken. So whenever you are interested in traveling and uh, seeing the world and learning another language or living in your dream city somewhere on this beautiful globe, then uh, feel free to reach out because we have plenty of opportunities where you can go and uh, about 10 languages you can learn with us, uh, starting from English to Spanish to Japanese to Korean, Chinese, French, uh, Italian. So yeah, lots of options for all of you. Um, and we have more than 50 destinations on the whole uh, planet to cover where you can go and where you can travel to. Um, but that's just in the beginning. What we basically want to talk about in the next 30 minutes in this session is a little bit about presentation skills. Um, so we want to make sure to see some good and bad examples about um, what a good presentation should probably be like, not necessarily only an online uh, presentation, also more focused on offline presentations. And we hope that offline presentations will be possible soon again. And uh, see you all soon yeah in, in offline again um but yeah that's basically what we uh, have a look on together today and to give you some tips and tricks what you should do to for a good presentation and uh, what's important usually when you're doing presentations whether it's for school or for your university studies or for your job i think presentations are always necessary and it's always necessary that you do uh, good and well-prepared presentations because otherwise it's yeah going to be a little bit messed up whether you're in school or in university or in your job um, it's always important to communicate your ideas and your thoughts clear and effectively so all uh, listeners can be um, yeah can get the same point you want to talk to them but let me share my screen with you and uh, because I prepared a little presentation for us. And yeah, hope you can all, you guys can all see my screen now. I think that's, no, oh, that's a hello. Yes, okay, fantastic. So that's good. That's the Zoom link, but where is the presentation? Just give me a second. Um, Yes, it's over here. And here we go. Talking about a little bit more about presentation skills um, from EF. So what we basically do, as I said, we send 
people to other countries and um, we do a lot of presentations as well over here um, because we have all uh, a lot of teachers working for us who are teaching languages so they do basically presentations all day. I'm not a teacher myself but um, I do as well presentations in the office with colleagues in the team so as I said it's probably necessary and needful for all of us. Um, but let's start and I'm going to share a quick example video with you and I'm really excited what you guys are going to tell me about this video and this experience um, afterwards and if you have any questions Rukesh is just asking where I'm from I'm from Germany so um, but uh, yeah whenever you have questions just put it into the chat and also let's have a look to this video I hope you guys can hear the sound but let's do it let's try it Oh, some things in the chat. Uh, okay, yeah, the quality. I can hear nothing. Okay, let's let's give it a try. It's just. Give me a second. Thank you for a little bit more loud. Tobias, it's Ekaterina here. Um, yes, I can help you. Um, when you start, you should uh, maybe stop sharing the screen. Mm -hmm. and when you start sharing the screen once again, you will see uh, several um, options, what exactly you are sharing. And then below uh, on the bottom, there are two uh, fields which you need to put a heck in. Uh, share computer sound, right? Share computer sound. And the second you can also. Um, yeah. okay. But after the video, you should put these uh, uh, crosses off again. Okay. Yeah? Okay, try it. Okay, fantastic. So that, I do it again. And hopefully you can see it again, the, the screen. Okay. And um, yes. Let's start again. Um, uh, yeah, good afternoon, everybody. Um, uh, uh, Is it better now for everyone? Yes. Okay, fantastic. Uh, th well, thank you for inviting me today. Uh, my name is um, uh, Warren, <coughs> and uh, uh, Warren Wind, and um, I'm going to be your um, uh, trainer. Oh. Okay, sorry for that. Um, uh, yeah, good afternoon, everybody. Um, uh, uh, th well, thank you for inviting me today. Uh, my name is um, uh, Warren, <coughs> and, uh, uh, Warren Wind, and um, I'm going to be your um, uh, trainer today. Um, um, now, I've actually um, I've been doing <coughs> training for that's part of uh, 20 odd years now and obviously uh, um, you know within um, my I, I mean I used to work for a large company and uh, we used to put all our staff through um, um, training courses and our presentations was one of them and it, it used to be I mean actually it still is actually one of uh, my um, uh, favorite courses because yeah you know presentations is something that we should, a skill we should all, all know we should all uh, we should, we should, it should, we do it all the time, we communicate, but we need to be able to, um, uh, as we say, uh, present. Now, um, just, uh, okay, um, uh, uh, oh, 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 no, 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 sorry, um, <laughs> let me just, let me just get this right, um, right, okay, um, yeah, I do have, um, Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I've got some. Uh, my, my objectives. Uh, well, my, my agenda today is uh, we're going to look at aims and objectives between nine thirty and eleven. Um, you're going to do a one minute presentation, um, and, and I'm probably going to video that as well. Uh, establishing key messages. We're going to after the break, eleven eleven fifteen. We're going to structure presentation for impact. Start it off. Okay. So 
just to give you a quick impression, what are your thoughts on this video? Probably you can write it into the chat or you can also unmute yourself um, on the button left and then you can um, just let us all know what do you think. Oh, wait, there's the chat. Um, Okay, these are all the yeses. <laughs> Sorry for that. Uh, when he did training for, yeah, why did not learn to present? Typically unconfused, unconf too much movements, many arms, turned back. Is this a parody? Yes, <laughs> he's nervous. I think it was an example for a bad presentation. That's in the comments. Yes, well done, guys. That's good. Unprepared, yes, bad presentation. Touch his face all the time. Yes, I see a dancer. <laughs> um, probably he's also a dancer. I don't know. Um, yes. Okay, and then I'm gonna. Um, yes, not to the point. Okay, I think we got it. Um, I just stop sharing the screen again and uh, do this buttons. Uh, so sorry for that. Sometimes it's also a little easier to present an offline, but um, the share computer sound we don't need anymore. Um, yes, but I think basically we, you mentioned it all in the comments. So it was a little confusing preparation of the, of the presentation. So he did not really have the focus. He was speaking, yeah, unclear. It was not really clear what he was talking about. So this was actually an example, as you mentioned, I'm not quite sure if it's a dancer as somebody mentioned, but um, as you say, it was a bad example. Um, so to get you also a little bit more into this topic, um, I want you to think a little bit about what do you think? What are the important aspects of a presentation? What would you say? Um, for you, what is important for a presentation? I'm gonna open the chat. It's also easier if you speak, but writing is also possible. Um, structure, yes. Focus, good storytelling, fantastic. Audience, yes. To be prepared, that's very important. Threat, yes. Engagement, communications with the audience. That's what I try as well, even if we are online, but sometimes it's a little bit more tricky, but yes, also a very good point. Talk free, speech, something valuable for the listener. Yes, calm voice, eye contact. Fantastic, very good points. Uh, don't send behind the podium. So we got a lot of points over here. That's fantastic. And I basically, um, prepared them as well for you. That's what we just mentioned or what you basically mentioned. Of course, content is super important because the content of your presentation of the topic just needs to be there. So um, usually every presentation has a special title or content, what the presentation is about. And that's what you have to follow and uh, have to follow in, yeah, clearly and effectively. So all of your audience as possible to follow. And then of course, second most important thing is to have a structure as well. Like don't, uh, as we saw in the video, probably don't start somewhere in the middle of the topic, make sure to get your audience to follow you and also to get the audience, um, all the points you wanna mention from the topic from the beginning, right? So don't start right away with the topic. So it might be also good to do a short introduction or to, uh, structure the topic a little bit differently. Language is also important, um, even if you're doing it in English or in German or in your native language or whatever. Um, it's always important to speak clearly and correctly. So um, yeah, especially when it's another language or when you're speaking in another language, it makes sense if you um, check your presentation and the content of your presentation with a colleague or with a friend or with a native speaker to make sure that you don't have grammar or spelling mistakes in the presentation. And also when it's in your native language, like I assume your native language might be German. Um, and also then I assume uh, to check it and to make sure your sentences, your phrases are correct. 
And um, because otherwise it's just a little weird when you're doing a professional presentation and you have like weird grammar or vocabulary spelling mistakes in it or in the presentation. Um, that's just sometimes a no-go. So please make also sure this is um, prepared. And also your style of presentation is important and matters. And um, also this is a very important point. Probably when you're in high school, your style of presentation is not there yet, but you might have to work on it. And then you're trying this during your high school studies, uh, sorry, your university studies, or when you're in a job and um, doing more presentations professionally, then your style is getting better and better. But it's also very important that, um, yeah, you have your own style and you don't try to copy somebody else because you saw a great presentation from somebody on YouTube and he or she was a fantastic speaker and uh, it was super easy to follow him or her and it was interesting and stuff. That's ideal, but um, don't try to copy somebody who you're probably not able to fill the shoes. And um, yeah, because then sometimes it's getting worse than when you're trying to, to do it with your own style. And so this is also an important point to find your own style and to try it. And sometimes this can take a couple of years until you find your perfect style to present, but it's also an important part. So those are the things I wanted to tell with you, which are very important to, um, yeah, put first on a presentation to have content and have the right content and don't talk about the wrong topic, which is basically not the topic of your presentation. Make sure it's structured and everybody is able to follow you. Make sure the language and your expressions are correct, whether it's in your native language or in another foreign language and make sure, um, yeah, the style is personally and it's your style and you try to, to get or to catch the audience with your style as well. And of course, another point um, is preparation. So also this is very important and necessary to be prepared. Probably it's also important to um, try the presentation in, uh, not do it the first time whenever you're doing it uh, with your audience. So also try to do it at home, front of a mirror, classic example or whenever you're doing it somewhere else, do it for friends, for your parents, for your partner, um, whatever. Um, but just try to practice because this is also part of your preparation. And um, yeah, don't get too nervous. And that's also good why, or that's also why it's possible to do or necessary to do um, this tryouts because then the preparation might be much better than when you're just doing it freestyle. Content. So what do you think? What is important for the content um, to get the right content? What would you say? Just write it into the chat. Oh, we saw some other, sorry, I guys I can't, just cannot read all of the comments. They're very good comments all the time, but it's just uh, like lots of people writing into the chat. It's hard to read any content. Um, be concise, yes, understand the content. Relevant content, that's a very good point um, to put, yeah, in a, in a, that's what we already said. Um, also here, just a couple of tips from my end. Um, for content, it's always necessary, do your research. So um, do it in a professional way, do it uh, not only probably with the internet, do it also with books um, or with other, things you can use for your research, but it's, yeah, internet's also possible, but always be sure that the sources you find in the internet may not be true because everybody can put everything into or on, on the internet. So please make sure to uh, have a valid source. Um, then you have to collect your information. So also that's like a funnel or a channel. Don't make sure to put um, all information together. So because this might be a lot of present a lot of content and may be too long for your presentation slot. If you have just 30 minutes, you have to be sharp and on point. Um, so you have to also select relevant information and make sure what's not relevant information or what's probably interesting to know, but not necessary to know. That's also very, that's different points um, because sometimes of course, you can always talk more and more content, but it's sometimes also good to make a decision 
what's relevant and get to the point. Use examples as well. Um, so that's what I try as well um, to give practical examples like what we just saw in the video. Um, I try to present some weird examples um, to make sure what's not the best way to do it. Um, and as I said, don't cover too much material um, because then you have a lot of things to say. And sometimes it's also, um, that's why it's also good to practice your presentation beforehand because otherwise you might have too much content for the time you have to talk. So all in all, let's see, keep it simple, but professional and um, yeah, make sure your audience is able to follow you um, and can get the, the content. How to structure your presentation. That's also a very interesting next point. I'm just going to have a quick look into the chat. Um, okay, there's some colorful things. Be with the content. Yes, that's all content. Um, yeah, presentation structure. That's also another very important point. You can see here, I just put it in three parts, opening, body, and closing. So that's also um, the usual structure of a presentation. Um, so the opening is basically the introduction of yourself and your topic. So please make sure that your audience is going to get what you're talking about. Um, and also make sure to introduce yourself. What are you doing? What's your name? Um, that's what I did in the beginning as well. Um, so yeah, just to make sure your audience is familiar with you and to make sure that they know when they can ask questions, when it's allowed to have questions. Um, structure your main points in a logical order. That's also very important. Um, as I said in the beginning, don't start with a fact that might whether where the audience needs to know some background knowledge, um, what they may not have, but so for them, it's also very important to have this. Um, so start from the beginning, keep it simple and make sure everybody is on the same page. Um, give a conclusion at the end. That's also, um, yeah, normally like not only an option, so only, always have a uh, conclusion at the end. Um, create a time frame as well um, so that the audience that the audience is going to know how long this presentation is going to take and for your presentation it's always helpful that's what I sometimes do um, write down your structure as well um, so because otherwise um, or it's, get, it's it's going to help you to structure your uh, presentation a little more and um, sometimes writing down um, helps a lot. Do you have any questions so far for the presentation structure? Maybe not. There's some things in the chat. Go to into a specific theme of the presentation. Yes. I don't like presenters who talk too long on the outline slide. Yes, that's also uh, what Regina just mentioned. Don't like presenters who talk too long on the outline slides. Yes, that's true. So make sure, as we said, keep it short and simple. Just make sure everybody's on the same page, but don't spend too much time on explaining the same, same things again. Um, okay, then um, another thing, how to communicate effectively. That's also um, something I want to share with you, where um, I want to show you something, um, by the way, again. So that's I mean, I need to share the screen. Wait, give me a second. I'm gonna do this again and share it again because now we need the video again. Um, how to communicate effectively. And for this, I have an example, a speech of former president Barack Obama, um, who did a speech and I just want to let you part for one to, three, one to two minutes. And let's just have a look at this example. Alongside our famous individualism, there's another ingredient in the American saga. A belief that we're all connected as one people. If there is a child on the south side of Chicago who can't read, that matters to me even if it's not my child. If there's a senior citizen somewhere who can't pay for their prescription drugs and having to choose between medicine and the rent, that makes my life poorer even if it's not my grandparent. It is that fundamental belief 
I am my brother's keeper. I am my sister's keeper that makes this country work. E pluribus unum, out of many, one. He gives a speech that presages his entire political message of 2008, which is this sort of post-partisan argument. Now, even as we speak, there are those who are preparing to divide us. The spin masters, the negative ad peddlers, who embrace the politics of anything goes. Well, I say to them tonight, there is not a liberal America and a conservative America. There is the United States of America. Obama was born with two great gifts. Uh, one is his mind, and the other is his ability to speak to large groups of people. There are three things that Obama does that really makes that speech effective. He wants concrete detail. He likes story, and he loves antithesis, the use of repetition and structure to show contrast. There is not a liberal America or a conservative America. There is one America. There is not a black America and a white America and Latino America and Asian America. There's the United States of America. The pundits like to slice and dice our country into red states and blue states, but I've got news for them too. We worship an awesome God in the blue states and we don't like federal agents poking around in our libraries in the red states. We coach Little League in the blue states and yes, we've got some gay friends in the red states. We are one people, all of us pledging allegiance to the Stars and Stripes, all of us defending the United States of America. The way he uses his hands, he actually points a lot and does a lot of this, and a lot of this, and a lot of that. In doing so, he gives off this sense of energy. I am new. I'm someone who is dynamic. And he doesn't do that so much anymore. He's a little more solemn and reserved when he gives speeches today. But I think it's more reflective of his office. Okay, so... This was, um, yeah, just something because time's almost over. Um, this was just another example I want to share with you in comparison to the example we had in the beginning, because I think it's a very well done speech and very easy to follow and very enthousi enthusiastic. Um, so some uh, final tips from my end on your language as well, which I think we saw a fantastic example in the, in the speech of Barack Obama. Um, so always make sure to speak clearly, loudly, and project your voice. Vary your tone as well. So don't speak uh, monotonously all the time because then it's might getting boring for your audience. So please make sure to yeah put a little energy into your voice. Put a little things to make it more fun or more interesting to listen for your audience use pauses as well. So don't speak too fast. Even if you're nervous, try to uh, concentrate and try to yeah, get to the point, make pauses, relax. Um, so it's also a little bit more easy to follow for your uh, audience. Um, avoid some filling words. I know all of us do that. I do it as well. But sometimes it's uh, just did it. So possible to try to avoid it as well. Um, yeah, use standard phrases, so don't make it too complicated. Also, when you're talking into another language or in another language, and you're probably not super familiar with this language, or you just started to learn it, then it's even harder. So try to keep it simple. So make sure that your expressions are correct, um, and then everything should be fine. Some informal things, um, some spelling examples I have over here for you at the end as well when you're doing it in English. Um, informal introduction at the beginning, don't do it too formal. So because then, or of course it belongs to the background, but also I'm a fan of doing it informal. Um, introducing the topic at the beginning, some examples um, over here, what you can see on the screen, um, some mistakes and clarification phrases. Let me rephrase that. Um, actually, what I meant to say is to clarify, I wanted to say that. Um, so these are just a couple of examples and there are plenty of more examples, what you can use and what you can find um, to use for your presentation. And this is also a part what we said in the beginning of your 
uh, preparation for a presentation to find the right language. What's your style? That's probably the most important thing as well, um, just to get this finished. Um, as I said, it's uh, very important that you are yourself. Don't try to copy Barack Obama from the video because that's another, probably another, that's the next level. And uh, try to be authentic, uh, try to be yourself, connect with the, or engage with the audience. I know sometimes, and that's what I experienced myself, it's a little hard to do this online because uh, to speak and to read the chat, it's a little bit more challenging than it would be when we are all together in one room. Um, relax, that's also an important point. And sometimes or never for those people of you who are very nervous before presentations, just try to relax and think about the best outcome and it will work and don't get panic. That's probably the most important thing. Sometimes things don't work out, but yeah, there's always a solution for anything. So don't worry. Um, be positive, use your body language as well, especially when you're talking at an offline event in front of people of an audience. Um, as we saw in the uh, example of Barack Obama, he used his hands, his voice, his face, his body to yeah, put people behind him and to um, get his opinion outspoken. The appearance, that's also an admit mistake. So please make sure don't tell wrong information because that's always some weird point whenever you're saying something to your audience and then somebody in the audience is going to tell you, no, this is actually wrong and I got it, um, how it needs to be corrected. So that's probably not a professional way. So please make sure you don't have mistakes in your um, language. Do you have any questions so far left? I think the time's almost over. Um, yes. So I just let me quickly read on that because I think I'm going to copy of that chat so I can go through it again and see your questions. Um, yes, it was a pleasure for me to share it with you. I'm happy that you were here and hope there was some new input for you as well. Um, yes, we, there is somebody posted our virtual uh, fair of EF at the Expo Lingua, so please feel free to come on over, say a virtual hi to a virtual stand and just you're going to find some information about going abroad, going abroad over there as well. Um, yes, yeah, so some feedback, only the clip of the bad speaker at the beginning was a little bit too long. Okay, I'm going to notice this for the next one. Um, it was quite clear after a few seconds. Um, yes, okay, but that's good to know. I'll do it a little bit shorter for the next time. Um, some other questions. Uh, is it good to include jokes? How to include them successfully? Yes, uh, I think that depends on the uh, audience and the momentum when you're doing a, pr a presentation. So sometimes it's not bad to include a joke to make it a little bit more relaxed and a little better atmosphere. But if you're in a very serious background, so sometimes you have to be careful um, because then it can probably also go into the wrong direction because people might not feel that you are serious or yeah, think that you're just making fun of the topic. So needs, uh, depends on the, on the audience and the momentum, I would probably say. Tobias? Yes. Um, unfortunately, we have to close the room because the next yeah. presentation is going to take part in 15 minutes, but thanks a lot. It was a great presentation and we would like to invite all of you to visit EF Education virtual stand at Expo Lingua. Uh, it's very easy to find them. So I think you can keep asking questions at the virtual stand. And yes, fantastic. <laughs> thank you very much and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.